at night. Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thank you so much for joining me. States across the U.S. are racing to reopen in time for summer as more Americans get vaccinated against COVID-19. More than 100 million Americans are now fully vaccinated against the virus. Nearly half of U.S. adults have received at least one dose. But data show the rate at which people are getting vaccines is plummeting. That slowdown is now threatening the nation's chances of reaching herd immunity. CBS News senior national correspondent Mark Strassman tells us that has some health experts concerned. COVID America is eager for moments of magic. Disneyland obliged. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome home. 13 months after viral dread sidelined Mickey and Minnie, the California park has reopened, though changed like all of us. You have to have the ears, the whole outfit, and now you have to have the mask, too. To pandemic officials, the real pixie dust is injected, not sprinkled, and needs more believers. If you go to a hospital or worse, you die all because you chose to not get vaccinated. That would really be a tragedy. More than one in four Americans has been fully vaccinated. As a daily average, 2.6 million more people got a shot over the last week. That's down sharply. The shortfall is demand, not supply. In the Northwest, a plea for young people to get the shot as cases start to spike again. Take Oregon. Hospitalizations have nearly doubled in the past week. COVID-19 is now knocking more younger people off their feet. Millions of Americans refuse to give the vaccine a shot. We will not be silenced. Some are never vaxxers. Others assert freedom of choice. But to most objectors, it's the science, a vague, visceral skepticism that Operation Warp Speed moved too fast. At stake, America's herd immunity, keeping new variants at bay and getting fully on the other side of this pandemic. Is your first time here? Or? It is. The economy is getting there. In general, we're already back to, to, to the pre-COVID levels. People want to spend. Help wanted signs are everywhere, even on the menu. I've hired more people now that never worked in restaurants before than ever. They're gearing up for a hot summer in Las Vegas, the Disneyland for adults. When will Vegas be back? To all those who ask, the comeback is here now. Same for here in Georgia, a rollback of COVID restrictions starting this weekend for businesses including gyms and movie theaters. Restaurant staff no longer have to wear masks. And all of that is worrisome to health experts. Lana? Mark, thank you. 